Hey, how is it going? Everyone, welcome to more Circle of the Moon. Um, and, well, there is only one thing to do, which is uh, a beating uh, Dracula. So that's something that... I'm not sure how it's gonna happen, but I know that it's gonna happen. In one way or another it will. Um, but I have a couple of plans. The first thing I want to do is attempt another, well, attempt. <laughs> I basically try again against Dracula now that it's another day. Maybe being more rested and stuff means that I can win. Probably not, but hey, if I'm able to do that, I save myself from doing any farming. But if that doesn't work, and it most likely will not work, uh, I have other plans uh, that unfortunately imply farming, which is something that I didn't want to do. But I guess it has to be this way. You know? <laughs> but unfortunately, some farming will be required. I wonder what happens if you... Amazing run already. I'm not even gonna bother healing. I mean, after all, it seems that it is the best idea to unfortunately farm. How is it going, Kyle? But yeah. Uh, you know that... I wanted to farm one of the cards. That is the unicorn card is the one that gives you the holy element, but the game says that it's dropped by an enemy called White Armor. I have no idea where it is, but I wanted to ask you if you knew, because it will be very useful. I mean, if I'm able to get the Unicorn card, I'm pretty sure I don't need to do anything other than winning. <laughs> but that's the thing, I don't know where the unicorn, I, well, I know that it's dropped by white armor, but I don't know where white armor is. Well, in fact, I could show you right away. There are a couple of cards that I want to target. The first one, yes, being the unicorn, dropped by none other than this thing, white armor. I mean, judging by the experience that it gives you, this is a mini boss. Which means that it's probably not gonna be easy to farm. In the no shovers allowed. Well, you you mean the you mean the battle arena? Ah, oh, fuck, dude. I mean, I expected that to be the case. Well, I guess that that's out of question then. Fuck. Well, there are other things that I've been thinking of. Uh, for example, there is a de devil armor. No, not the devil armor. The dark armor. This one. So that second drop that this thing has is a bracelet that increases all of your stats by 75. Uh, though they have to be equipped at the same time, but I think that it's a very good deal. Because the other... well, the luck ring will be useful too, but I know where these guys are at least. And then the other plan was farming something that is drop... well... This thing, the Thunderbird, because uh, I think that there is one combination that increases your attack depending on the amount of map you have uncovered, and that seems useful, and I know where these guys are. And then the other plan that I have is uh, that uh, card, uh, the Uranus, which can summon, but I have no idea where these scary candles are. Do you know that, Kyle? Because I don't remember even seeing any of these monsters before, the, the scary candles. Um, and then there was another plan that I had, and I don't remember which one it was. It, it involved a were panther. Oh, because it also drops the... Okay, yeah, you can go either for the were panther or, or the Dullahan. I will assume that going with the Dullahan is easier. Maybe not. And obviously the, the main idea is that while farming you obviously get more level. 
So regardless, it's it's gonna do something. Uh, there was a card combination that was about increasing luck. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. So I will need this one, and I will also need to equip, well, unequip the curse ring, of course, and equip the miracle armband. This is the best thing I can do to farm right now. In the clock tower area after enemies get a new layout. Alright. I'm not sure which one to farm first. Because the white armor is out of question. But I don't know if I should go for the Dullahan or the Were Panthers or these candles. I mean it could be any of them. I guess I could go for the white candles. Some raw OST. No raw OST. I wonder though, with all this luck, how common drops are. I'm assuming not that common either. But yeah. It doesn't seem very common at all. And I have quite a lot of luck. Well or what I can have on my current level, at least. But yeah, I guess farming, aside from farming items, it's also about farming level, because that will help, of course, uh, as well. So the clock tower area is all the way up there. Right? Like, you mean the one on top right? That's the clock tower area, right? I mean, I could go there, though. I don't really like the the enemies there. I mean, the other option is going with the Dula hands, And they are all a pain in the ass, basically. Well, for now I could go my way up from here and go with the Dula Han. I mean, the Dula hands, at least I know where they are, and even if I didn't know, there are many of them in a single map, which means that farming them should theoretically be easier. How high do I need to go? I need to go high. I also, you know, saw the suggestion of the item crash, but... Oh, top left? Oh, you meant the other way. It's been a while since I've been there now that you mention it. Okay, I, I guess I could do that after... I mean, wrong side. After dealing with the, with the Dula hands. But yeah, I was considering your opinion on the on the item crash, but I don't really think the item crash is gonna do much. I, I, I mostly because it probably will consume a lot of hearts. I'm gonna run out of hearts. So the Dullahan was wait, was it? I mean, I remember being on the hull up there, but was it also down here? No, I think actually down here, wasn't this the place with the Were Panthers? Because that's also another option. Okay, were Panthers or Were Showers? I don't remember their names. There is also this Wind Armors. No, I mean. Wait. No, this is the wrong way. No, this is the wrong way. Uh, the, the, the other place I was thinking of is not here. But you know, the Dula hands are up there. That, that's something that I do remember. Of course. That's fine. It would be <laughs> nice if you could go there. There you go. Okay. Go so Dula hands. Uh, wait. Are they not here? This is where the where those guys are. Maybe they were because. They are two long hulls. It's probably the one above this one. So I remember it was a long hull here. But maybe it's the one above this. Alright. In which case, this is the right way. Uh, yeah. Need to go right. I think the siren also dropped something interesting, but... I don't think it wasn't interesting enough to farm it, but it was relatively cool. Wish I remember what. 
Uh, I think that the encyclopedia is a very nice addition to... Oh, she dropped the griffin. Uh, okay, what does the griffin do? I mean, the griffin is, first of all, an animal. So it's wind. Okay, so basically every combination increases intelligence. And this sucks. <laughs> What's the bomb? Apollo, Griffon, a tornado. I guess that could be useful, maybe. Yeah, I don't really care about the Griffon at all. Like, if I lose this, I don't give a shit. No, I think what the, the, the cool thing that the siren drop was the other drop, maybe. But I can save here at the same time. Yeah, Griffin, this. I agree. Hey, at least we got one card. That's cool. There is hope. But now if only the Dula hands... Yeah, there, there they are. See, I told you I knew. The problem is that these guys are so annoying in the way they behave. I think that using the crosses will be a good idea, but at the same time... Using the crosses is something that I probably shouldn't have used. Because the crosses are important for the boss. At the same time, these guys deal some damage and as they move so much, they are very annoying to properly get. Well, at the same time, the amount of damage they deal could have been a lot worse. But they are annoying as shit. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, I'm even thinking farming. Well, but that's the thing. The other one is the War Panther. The War Panther is as annoying. Here there were all these bitches. Yeah, I don't care about them. Uh, no, I guess it's a matter of farming these guys, and that's it. Only they stayed. Oh, actually, I could use the cross considering that this place also drops hearts. Oh! Well, I already have the platinum armor, damn it. No, I need your other drop, Mr. Dullahan. No, not the platinum one, I already have that. I appreciate the, the gesture. At least as I say, I think that the amount of luck that I have now is not bad at all. Damn, another platinum armor? I don't believe it. I'm gonna save here not because of the platinum armors, of course, but because of the experience. The experience is useful no matter what, of course, so... Uh, yeah. The platinum, yeah, I think that as annoying as the Dullahans are to fight, it's probably better than the Wear Panther. Not to mention that there is also more Dullahans than Wear Panthers in their own map, so. Seems like the best idea, no matter what. Oh, there it is! The Thunderbird. Alright, well, that was fast. <laughs> that was very fast. Okay. So the Thunderbird, this doesn't guarantee anything though, but there is a combination that could help me a lot, which is, as I said, increasing the attack depending on the percentage of map and cover. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but it could be good. Uh, so the Thunderbird, and I think it was with Venus, probably. So. Let's see, first of all, how much damage. Oh, shit! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, but it also consumes energy very fast. Wait, does that also affect my secondary weapons? I, it does. I'm pretty sure it... Wait. I'm stupid. I didn't have the buff active. <laughs> Oops. Well, it doesn't matter if it affects them or not. Okay, this might be my ticket for the victory or not. Maybe it's not enough, but this at least will be a lot better than what I previously had. Because, I mean, the map is fully completed except for the battle arena and 
like secret rooms that are only one square long so the, the, the increase should be substantial so here um i should just drop well i should just go back the way i came unfortunately there is no hum, homeward bone in the strength build i'm not sure about that but this is the wrong way you know, it's not... Uh, the, the in part is not there. Also, keep in mind that I dealt all that damage because I have this luck thingy. Uh, like, imagine with the other things the damage will be a lot better. Maybe we might be done with this sooner than I expected. Um, the encyclopedia also says that the second phase of Dracula has uh, 3,000 points of health, which is a lot, but I think it could be worse. Because um, it probably splits the health between the two phases, which will mean that it has 1,500 on the second one, maybe. I don't know. Alright. So now we go left, right? Just left. Okay. But yeah, this has potential, though. I'm not sure how much potential. What is true is that with that build with luck, it really, it really makes dropping this stuff very, you know, relatively easy. Uh, so Corset Ring, and then the Strength Ring, right? I don't think I have anything better, yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, this is gonna be the attempt. Might go well, it might not go well. It's fine either way. We will just see, because what's important is trying. At least versus the Siren, the damage was double. That's one thing worth taking into account. Double, more than double damage. But also might take into account the defense of the Siren and whatever. But at least this gives me a little bit more hope. I still didn't try to see if the sub weapon is affected by, by that card, but I will try here. I basically, before the card, I dealt 39 points with the cross, so let's see now. No, okay, that's a shame. It doesn't affect it at all. Fuck. Well, that's still fine. In fact, well, first of all, let me reset, because it already damaged me a lot. But... I can keep the first phase the same way I've been doing it all this time, which is by spamming cross. And on the second phase, it's the one where I actually start using the the, the attack uh, buff. If this doesn't work, another thing I could try is the summon. Uh, I don't know how useful the summons are, but at least according to the encyclopedia, the image that they show, it looks very cool. So even if it's not useful, at least it looks cool. But I gotta look at the bright side. It also seems that I'm receiving more damage. I'm not sure why though. I know that I have the string, the string ring equipped, but I had it before. <laughs> I think that I'm receiving more damage from this boss. I wonder why. Hmm, it's a little bit weird. Maybe I should double check what I have equipped. I'm pretty sure it should be fine. doesn't want to go down. 
I just want to test the second phase, mister. Okay, perfect. So we will see how it goes here. At least I can enable and disable every time the flying thingy appears. So I don't waste as much mana as if I let it active for a long time, it will take a lot. The, the problem is also the damage that I receive. There's also another reason why it might not be a bad idea to... to get a better... Because if I'm gonna go straight like that... Uh, with the whip, it's probably better to increase my defense. Obviously, for that I will need a better armor. Okay. Yeah, the damage is better, it's just that I wish it was even better. It's not bad. I could heal. Well, another thing that I could do is farming healing items, considering that, you know, it will be very useful in a fight like this one. Well, or on any fight. I guess that's something I could do too. This shit is still way too hard. Where are you? You can see that the mana is getting consumed quite a lot. It's still not that bad, it could be worse. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by anything there. Go to okay. Go to Koki. Uh, I I wouldn't say that that went badly, but it would have gone a lot better. I'm not sure if I want to farm something else. I'm not sure who is the one that drops the good armors, because the best armor you can probably get is the one that is the coarser armor or dark armor, whatever. Because it takes away 10 on stats, but 550 is a lot. Because shining armor is theoretically the best one, but I don't think this one is easy to get. So dark armor and shining armor, remember that. Probably dropped by one of the most annoying enemies possible, but the question is which one? Wait, first of all, we can farm Grizzlies if we want healing items. Uh, like, and I know where these guys are. So, that's a possibility. Um, so, armor. Okay, so the dark armor... I don't know where Lilim is, but this is probably a, a mini boss. So, that's not a good idea. And the Brilliant armor, I'm not even sure where it is. I still haven't seen it. Maybe the really an armor is uh, the friends that we made along the way. Yeah, I don't see the really an armor anywhere. Or maybe it's like a reward for beating Battle Arena. Because if it hasn't appeared yet, I, I don't think it's gonna appear either. I I, I will assume it, it wouldn't be dropped by one of these shovers. It'll have to be dropped by one of the top dogs, but. I guess that's out of the question, but I could farm the the healing items. Dilim is in a findable place, or oh, really? Well, but I still think that it might be better to farm the Grizzlies. Just that I wish I could remember exactly... Like, I, I do remember seeing them, but... It was in the place that there were a lot of demons. Was it on the bottom left? Maybe? I think it might be there. Do you remember where it was? I think it was on the bottom left. Like, basically where I'm going, 
but below. Is that where they are? I feel like they are there. Near the top left of the map. Wait, the Grizzlies? Were they really on the top left? I thought they were on the bottom left. Because I remember... Like, w weren't they in the same place? Oh, you mean the Lilim. No, but I don't really care that much about oh, the Lilim. Uh, like, i rather... Because it seems like it's one of those monsters that there, there is only one. On the new area of the underground. I think they were on the bottom left. At least for what I remember. I feel like they were bottom left. But yeah, farming those healing items will be very useful. Just that that's the type of farming that has no limit. Because when you get a card, it's basically a card, and that's it. But for that sort of stuff, if you farm until you get tired, essentially. Okay, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they were where you say. I think they were in that place I'm saying, bottom left. The, the Grizzlies. That was close. Okay, got his ass. So now we choose the. Ooh, him. I need to remember to go to the middle of the map every time he's gonna do that. Because he always spawns on the sides. But he will spawn on the sides even if you are there. That's the problem. some clean hits. Fortunately, so was the one he he did to me. Where are you? There you are. Nice. Okay. This is going well so far. And the one hit he did didn't deal that much damage. This has potential. Ooh, that was close to hitting me. This might not be a bad idea to, to use the remaining hearts. But at the same time, if I do that, as I say at some point, because of the attack animations being so long, even if you want to use a, a sub weapon and then use the whip, it's a waste of time. There is too much animation that that will just get in the way. Those were some clean hits. Okay. As you know, it's very hard to know how much hell this guy has. First phase is a thousand five hundred or what? Because if it's a thousand five hundred, shouldn't this guy be dead already? If the total is three thousand, I don't know. He definitely refuses to go down. That's for sure. Nice. Wait. Disappearing. I can't see it because he's off the screen, but did I win? I think I won. Him. Oh, there is Dracula. 
Yeah, this game indeed was a wasted effort. You are correct. That's also true. Huh. Yeah. Probably a yeah, should we'll get out of there. It would be interesting if there was an actual escape sequence. But no, no escape sequence for you. Alright. Pretty pretty nice looking background, I gotta say. I don't know. You're probably too much of a bitch, Mr. Baldwin. You become soft? The one that's a soft bitch here is you, Mr. Whatever. Okay, are we gonna get the credits? Yeah, we, we get the credits. Okay, um, so this game sucks. <laughs> this game fucking sucks, but hey, at least now it's over. Honestly, there are so many things that I dislike about this game that I don't even know if the credits are enough to, to describe them all. I mean, obviously the first thing to say is that it's very clearly an inferior game to Symphony of the Night in every aspect, so if you want to play a game like this, there is no reason not to just play Symphony of the Night. The year this game released, I guess it made sense, since this is a Game Boy Advance game, so being able to play something relatively similar to Symphony of the Night on the go is cool, right? That's understandable. But I just feel like having like very non-generous drop rates, having uh, you know bosses that if you don't farm, they are HP sponges, which by the way you cannot even see their health to even see how close or not you are to killing them. Uh, the backtracking is just like in most Metroidvania games, I guess. In like, a, a, a complaint there will be a complaint on the genre, probably. But, yeah, there is just so many things I don't like about this game. But I'm glad it's over now. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it really is annoying. I mean, technically there is still the, the battle arena, but for something like that... Wait, what's this? You get Magician's password. Please input it on the name entry screen. Fireball? Alright, I'm gonna do that just to try it. Not because I'm gonna do another playthrough, but I want to see what that is. The Magician's password. Uh, well, I would like... Okay, there you go. What is that? Yeah, the soft man. New char run. I assume that when it says vampire killer in the in the save file, like there was another thing. So fireball. Let's see what happens. Fire. Ball. Right. Tim, what if I'm called fireball? being discriminated for my name. Well, I think that the the intro is the same. So fuck the intro. Oh, we need to eat this shit again. And it's also another complaint I have. Castlevania Legends, which is a Game Boy game, understood that the cutscenes are meant to be skipped if you already saw them. 
but this game didn't understand that. It's not like we're talking about a console, like a home console game. We're talking about, you know, talking about another handheld game. Wait, am I gonna play as Baldwin or what? This is so far the exact same. No, I still play as this guy, but... What's the difference? This is the same shit. Do I have any item? Any... Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's the difference. You get every... Single summon. Nice. So, for example, if you... Wait, your HP? Where is my HP? 50? Wait, is that low? I don't know, because I'm not sure... Is that supposed to be low? I guess it is. I mean, compared to the magic power, at least it's very low. So wait, I want to see the summons. Uh, it was with Uranus. I want to see the Unicorn Summon, which is the one I was meant to, to, to take. I'm very soft. Damn. So first of all, what's this Summon? That's not a Summon. Huh? Wait. Oh, you need to input that thing. Wait, the unicorn just heals you? Tim, I'm glad I didn't farm for the unicorn. It heals you, it doesn't attack. Because I'm assuming that everyone else at least attacks. Like, for example, the Thunderbird. You do this. Yeah, see, that, that looks cool. I mean, the fact that it's a static image moving across the screen without animation is a little bit lame but it's the only one that doesn't attack them i i still think it would have been useful to combine with the with mercury because it will be an elemental whip that will be strong against dracula i guess Wait, i want to reach the save Okay, so, yeah, I guess I take a couple of hits and I will get fucked. But then, th th this is very cool, because you, you could play the game in a completely different uh, way. I don't even remember where the first save was. Maybe here? <laughs> Tim, the first roadblock that you find is a wooden crate. Can you believe that? Like the very first roadblock is a wooden crate. Okay, the game basically telling you how much of a bitch the protagonist is. So I think that outside of the summons, the other things are not that impressive. I mean, you have item crash, you have bombs, but I think that the most impressive thing is the the summons. Like I feel like that's the wait. Which one would I want to see? Um, I want to see the cockatrice, or whatever that word is pronounced. But where was the save? Hey, do you remember where the first save was? Because I don't. Maybe it was this way. Tim. A cock flies through the screen. Okay, you know, something that I gotta say is that they look a lot sillier than I expected. I mean, they don't look bad in itself, but they just look very silly. Like, extremely silly. <laughs> Since they have no animation. Jupiter Mandragora. Okay. Jupiter Mandragora. Well, I don't know if I have... ...enough. Well, I don't think I can do much here. Damn it. Can you... Well, see, the problem is that I don't think I will be able to try it because these things are just not letting me pass, you know? <laughs> it's a little bit of an issue. Yeah, really? Oh, this was where the demon was. I'm probably gonna get killed here. Indeed. Well, I had no idea what Jupiter Mandragora did, but I guess we didn't get to the save point.
It's fine though, I don't give a shit. I just wanted to see it. And as you can see, if you don't reach the save, when you game over, uh, you know, you stand still and you reach and... Oh, it's that one. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I use for the no dead waterway. I mean, some of these combinations are cool. I, I just think that, well, aside from the ones that are actually... Well, these ones are also cool. Like, you can use a new weapon if you use Mars. Mars basically makes every combination a different weapon. That's very cool. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. A lot of these things are... Like, require farming, and I don't think that they are cool because of that. Like, they would be cool if they were more easily available, or at least as a reward for beating a special enemy that is optional, right? But no. But yeah, I guess that the, the, the highlight of this card system are the summons. But they, they look better here. Because they look better here because you look at them and you are like, damn, look at that. That looks so cool. But when you actually see them that it's just a steel image moving across the screen, it looks pretty silly. So, yeah. I think that even the summons are a lot more lame than I expected. Also, this is a lie. A unicorn will be summoned to attack. The unicorn won't attack shit. So yeah, that's another thing to take into account. But hey, at least the game is over now. Like, as I say, fuck this game. I don't like it, but... At the very least, it's now over. Uh, and you get a crown. When you beat the game, you get a little crown on the bottom right to, to assert your, your dominance. But yeah. That's what, that was Castlevania Circle of the Moon uh, for the Game Boy Advance, so uh, she she's.